We begin in Queensland, where a two-month-old baby has died after a stabbing frenzy in which her grandfather allegedly attacked the little girl, her mother and grandmother in Brisbane. The 53-year-old man remains under police guard in hospital with self-inflicted wounds. Today, reporter Lauren Ellis joins us now from the scene in Parkinson. Lauren, some harrowing footage has emerged of the accused in the moments just after the alleged attack. Good morning, Ashlyn. It has. It shows the 53-year-old accused shirtless, appearing dazed and confused, pacing out the front of the family home in Parkinson, where this horror unfolded. He is then seen lying face down in the driveway of the home, which is splattered with blood, and that is where he is handcuffed and the arrest is made. Police will allege that this man, a 53-year-old on holidays from China, with his wife, stabbed his wife inside this family home along with their 28-year-old daughter and her two-month-old baby girl. At the moment, his wife is in intensive care, fighting for her life at the Princess Alexandra Hospital. His daughter is also in a serious condition and, as you mentioned, the two-month-old baby girl has tragically passed away late last night. He is also in the intensive care unit with self-inflicted stab wounds and is currently under police guard. Neighbours yesterday described hearing blood-curdling screams outside the family property and are seen in this very dramatic footage asking authorities for what has unfolded. Boys, everything all right? Pink on. Is there a fight? I don't know. Now, investigations do continue at the family home here in Parkinson this morning. There are two separate crime scenes, the family home where the tragedy unfolded and then also a neighbour's property where police will allege the 28-year-old daughter ran, leaving a trail of blood to ask for help. And it was here at the neighbour's property that the triple zero call was made and police were notified. At this stage, police are yet to formally interview anyone that was directly involved in the incident, although they have spoken to the 28-year-old daughter as she made her way to hospital with paramedics. Ashlyn, as a result of this stage, no charges have been laid. Police do say, though, that they believe no one else was involved in this incident, and it does appear likely that this 53-year-old grandfather will be spending the rest of his life behind bars. Just an awful story. Lauren Ellis will talk to you again soon.